This is 245 East Weber Street. me some evictions y'all if you look at this right uh this particular landlord they just evicted their tenants right these deadbeats who weren't paying rent they just evicted them and guess what folks if you've never seen what a house looks like after eviction this is like what you're gonna see this is actually not bad at all right? why does everyone have all this wwe knowledge and no one has this real estate knowledge god that's a good yeah WWE's signs up awesome. wwe is awesome dude dude stone cold for president to get this house from where it is today, looking, smelling, admittedly not awesome, right? Uh, to getting it rent ready, Section 8 rent ready, ready to rock and roll. You don't actually have to spend that much money, right? Uh, the one of the three hot water tanks that actually does work in this home, uh, you got you know, over a decade of life left in it. Why uh, they didn't remove the other two, I don't know. Hey, man, they're freaking heavy, man. What can I say, dude? They don't freaking lift like your boy Jay Wise. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to you, giving it to you straight. I love me some evictions, y'all. Love, love, love me some evictions, right? For two reasons. Reason number one, I hate, I hate, I hate when motherfuckers steal from me and fellow real estate investors. Hardworking people who are trying to do the right thing, saving their money, trying to invest it so they can live a better life, take care of their family, and then you get some piece of garbage deadbeat asshole who thinks they could just swoop in jerk off and play video games all day without having to pay rent not on my watch bro love me some evictions i love the smell of kicking out a piece of crap in the morning it's better than a nice warm cup of joe second reason second reason i love me some evictions is because other landlords hate evictions a lot of landlords don't like to deal with evictions evictions are unpleasant evictions are difficult evictions are stressful evictions make everybody unhappy and oftentimes when landlords have to deal with evictions and it's not necessarily the eviction itself the act of evicting people because as uh, i've previously mentioned those people are pieces of human garbage who deserve it they need to take care of themselves they can't just steal from us they can't be parasitic assholes so it's not the act of kicking them out that makes so many landlords upset it's what those people put those landlords through it's what they do to them it's what they do to their properties nobody likes getting stolen from one of those people y'all is the seller, the current owner of 245 East Weber Street, Toledo, Ohio. This particular house I have for you guys at $29.9. And this thing is a banger. This is actually a ridiculously good price for this particular property, right? What we have here is a house that is more or less turnkey <laughs> now that's funny right that's that's funny that i say it's more or less turnkey because if you look at the footage that my guys are showing you right now it, it don't look fucking turnkey right you gotta look a little bit deeper though right if you look at this right uh this particular landlord they just evicted their tenants right these deadbeats who weren't paying rent they just evicted them and guess what folks if you've never seen what a house looks like after eviction this is like what you're gonna see this is actually not bad at all this is actually a pretty good eviction because what we have is just a mess. It's just a messy house. We don't really see a lot of damage, right? So to get this house from where it is today, looking, smelling, admittedly not awesome, right? Uh, to getting it rent ready, Section 8 rent ready, ready to rock and roll. You don't actually have to spend that much money, right? You get a crew in there, you do the trash out, probably going to do some repainting, but like you're not doing major renovations, right? Uh, according to the seller, they had replaced the roof roughly six years ago. 
uh, the hot water tank, one of the hot water tanks, there, there's like three in that basement. Only one of them is hooked up. So the newest hot water tank that we have here, uh, it's only a few years old, right? A couple years old. And those hot water tanks, just so you guys know, you're in Toledo trying to get your hot water tanks replaced. You're looking at like 12, 1300 bucks, and they're going to, uh, you know, last you about 15 years, right? So uh, the one of the three hot water tanks that actually does work in this home, uh, you got you know, over a decade of life left in it. Why uh, they didn't remove the other two, I don't know. Hey, man, they're freaking heavy, man. What can I say, dude? They don't freaking lift like your boy Jay Wise. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as the furnace, too, uh, looks like down there, I, I think we have, like, one furnace and then one unhooked up furnace. I, I guess these guys are just, like, you know, whoever's doing their rehab work for them is must be charging them an arm and a leg to remove the old stuff. But uh, furnace is uh, fairly new too, right? So uh, yeah, it's crazy to say, like if I just took a picture of the living room of this house and I'm like, yo, turnkey house, you guys would probably laugh me out of the room. You'd be like, what's this fucking asshole talking about? This house looks like garbage. But in reality, if you just like dig a little deeper and actually look at this from the lens of an investor, not like a traditional home buyer who's just like looking at it like, oh my God, it's dirty, it smells. Uh, from a X's and O's perspective, folks, uh, from a spreadsheet perspective, uh, this particular property is actually able to get from where it is today to completely rent ready for a very small amount of money. So the fact that I've offered it to you guys at twenty nine nine, and the fact that we should be able to put a Section 8 tenant in here uh, for about 1200 bucks a month is what uh, Section 8's paying for houses like this, right? That, that's a banger, man. You're going to be making a ton of money on this thing, right? So if you guys like to buy this particular property, uh, we can do cash offers or financed offers. Send your offers to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. Include your pre-approval or your proof of funds with those offers. If prior to making an offer, you want to physically walk the property so you could put together your scope of work of exactly how much money you need to spend to get it from where it is now to completely rent ready, that's totally fine. Whether it be you uh, or your contractor, whoever, uh, we can get you in there. Just shoot us an email, sales at Holton Com. We'll get you in the property. We're all about transparency here at Holton Wise. And if you need property management referrals uh, for after you close on the property and you want to, you know, get things moving, get this thing ready to go, get it back to kicking ass, uh, we can provide those for you. Additionally, I will also be able to personally help you get your insurance done because I am uh, not only a real estate broker here in Ohio, I'm also a uh, insurance broker, and I only deal with rental properties, right? I only do rental property insurance, just like I only sell rental properties, right? I, I'm not like one of those agents that's going to walk around and drive around town with you and your family, and like we'll go see the nice suburban houses and the white picket fences, and I'll be like, oh my God, this is so nice. You guys could cook scones in here. I ain't going to fucking do that shit. And I'm not going to deal with having to insure your 16 year old son's car and then he crashes it and then we got to mess around. We're not messing with all that. Just rental properties is what we do here at Holton Wise. Sold over $200 million worth of rental properties in Ohio. We work for investors. We are investors. So I could handle your rental property needs, get you guys going on properties like this, handle the insurance, kick you guys to referrals for uh, property management. We actually do have a very massive property management business here at Holton Wise, uh, but that is not going to be in the city of Toledo. We don't handle property management specifically in Toledo. We are actually based out of Cleveland. Uh, so if you guys were investing in that market, uh, not only could we do everything we could do for you here with this Toledo property, but we could also handle your renovations and property management needs in-house as well. We special lies and bring in these cash flow opportunities in Ohio to investors nationwide. The majority of our customers come from, you know, the more expensive markets where like the landlord tenant laws are just apeshit crazy, right? Think about places like Portland, uh, California, right? Imagine going to that shithole Portland and wearing this shirt, dude. Those sons of bitches would tar and feather you as soon as they were done drinking their Vente Lafe Cafe, blah, 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 and their craft beers. Which, by the way, if you are a crazy enough some bitch who does want to wear this particular shirt in that hellhole Portland, uh, let me hook you up. Promo code HWTV10. Click the notes below to get this shirt and wear it. And if you film it and you get attacked by a bunch of dudes with skinny jeans and man buns, Send me the footage. We'll put that on Holton Wise TV. I think that'd be amazing. Let's go. This is 245 East Lever Street. 
As you can hear, there are police sirens currently. The neighborhood is uh, super great. Hello, anybody home? Why is there a fucking log stuck in the power line? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, hey, don't touch anything. What the fuck? Why is there so many hot water tanks? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be cool if I could see the fucking screen. You know, you could probably go up on the porch where it's not raining on you. You know what? I mean, I'm not, I'm not some kind of drone genius. You are though. You are. You should oh, look at this! I got you're standing right in front of the fucking sign, dude. This, oh, dude. That oh, worked dude, out perfect. It. People walking down the street. People ask questions all the time. Can I try it? No, bro. I'm not just gonna hand you a th multi-thousand dollar piece of equipment for you, you to be like, oh, fucking oh, yourself. Go oh. fuck around with it, bud. There's a say hi. Hi. There's a what? Oh shit. They're buying lunch. Why does everyone have all this WWE knowledge and no one has this real estate knowledge? God, that's a good, yeah. WWE Signs up. Awesome. WWE is awesome, dude. Dude, Stone Cold for president. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.